Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this uh, tutorial example, we are going to uh, look at J scroll pen. So here we will create a text field grid using a J panel. Then we will learn about J scroll pen to scroll the text field grid horizontally as well as vertically. You can see the example what we are going to create here in the left hand side screen. So J scroll pan is from uh, uh, Java Swing uh, packages. So we can construct it. First we can pass the component which we want to scroll. Then we will pass uh, two constant. This is to specify whether we need a horizontal or vertical scroll bars. So these constants we will supply it from scroll pan constants. So when we go to Eclipse demo you will come to know. So the component can be anything. Uh, if the component cannot fit in the frame window then we can use the scroll pan to scroll that specific component. In this example, we will create a J panel and J panel make use of a grid layout and it will produce a grid of text fields. So that's all we are going to do here in this example. So um, let's go to Eclipse demo now. So this is our uh, initial uh, frame window. And if you see, we create the frame window. And so this is our J frame window, which we created here. After that, we will set the visible to true. So this is explained in the very first video. Now let's run it once. So this will be our initial frame window. So first we create a grid of text boxes. Here in this first line we are creating a J panel. So J panel is from Java X dot swing package. First we are importing it. Then we import grid layout. If you see here we are forming the cell. 25 into 40 and that means a thousand cells we are forming as a grid so this one is a row number of rows is 25 and number of columns are 40 next the panel we are assigning this uh, grid layout gl after that we are forming a for loop to create a text field jtx field from java x swing package so for this set text field the first first parameter what we pass is the content for the text field then we specify a width for the text field stating it needs to accommodate four alphabetical characters now let's run it once okay so we have to add this to the content pan to know how it look so what I'm doing I'm using control host so after finishing the for loop we are adding this component so by default this will go to center of this border layout 
and if you see since it's a grid layout all thousand text fields are displayed here so this is not what you want to see right so what we will do we will not add this to the control host because of the issue what you saw we will create a scroll pan and then we will perform scrolling so once we use the scroll pan you won't see the automatic resize of the text field so when we added this uh, text grid directly to the um, frame window control host that means the uh, to the content pan the pan resized the uh, j panel so when it resized the j panel to fit the height and width of the frame window the text field hosted by the j panel also resized so that doesn't look good so what we are doing now we are using the j scroll pan so we are importing the java x swing package i mean the j scroll pan from the swing package you can see it here so as explained in the slide you can see we are passing three parameter first one is the component the component here in our case is a j panel which is nothing nothing but a, a text field grid that means we uh, place a thousand text field uh, in the grid and we display that so that j panel now we are handing it to the j scroll pan after that we use j scroll pan constants from the so first we are importing it from java x dot swing package and if you see here we are stating we need a vertical scroll bar also we need a horizontal scroll bar by specifying this constant after that to the control host instead of adding the text grid as we did before we are adding the j scroll pan now we will run this uh, example and if you see now the text field is four character width and we displayed a horizontal as well as a vertical scroll bar and this enables scrolling the content so user can type uh, since this is a text field they can type whatever they want in the specific cell that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye